Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where Portugal is infringing on our territory like a bunch of jerks. But we need to do something about them. And the question is, what exactly? Well, I want to try to cut them off up this way as much as possible. We've also got our one colonist over here, but we've got three colonists working over here. And that's a good thing. The other thing that I want to do is I want to start getting our army drill up because our army professionalism is very low right now. And I would like to be working on getting that up in case Portugal decides to be an even bigger jerk. So we're going to recruit a general and we're going to start drilling. And as our units finish up here, I believe they're auto joining this. I've restarted the game though, so I think that this is not uh, showing up. But we have them queued up, and the other thing that we want to do is I want to queue up a bunch of light ships. So we have a force limit of 50, right, for our light ships. So I'm going to queue up a few of them. About like that. And then we'll just proceed from there. Now we still need to be trying to keep Europe as happy as possible. And that's a, a bit of a problem with Portugal. Portugal is currently hostile to us, but they are fighting against Morocco right now. So they're unlikely to declare war on us until they finish that war with Morocco. Okay, we were attacked down here. That is fine. Oh, tobacco is becoming popular. Good job, Spain. So. Oh, more natives. I'm just checking here. Yes, they did auto-join. Perfect. Now, where's this 2k stack at? Okay, they're the ones over here. That's fine. Sounds good. Okay, we finished exploring the South Atlantic. Let's continue exploring the South Atlantic coast. And of course, the other thing that we do need to be doing is working on our institutions. We can currently embrace colonialism once we have enough money. The money is currently going towards ships, though. But that's okay. Eventually, this army will be finished constructing, and uh, we'll just continue drilling them for now. And hopefully this show of force will convince Portugal that it's uh, maybe not super worth it to go after us right now. We're not completely defenseless, unlike some of the places that they could be. And of course, we are also regenerating manpower as quickly as we can. Okay, that's going to be a while before that one's finished up. I'm going to go ahead and pull our fleet down over here. Oh, we're now just. That's nice. And then, of course, colonizing up here is going to be a little exciting. Province improvements we are going to hold off on for now. It is far more important that we get our army and navy up to scratch. And then after that, it's still far more important that we get our institutions up to scratch so that we can get our tech up to scratch because uh, we're pretty far behind in tech right now. We are at 9109. Compare that to Portugal and they're 15, 15, 16. That's gonna be a big problem if they decide to attack us. Okay, South Atlantic is finished up. That is fine. Realistically, we don't have anywhere else to explore currently, do we? We could circumnavigate the globe and... We actually could circumnavigate the globe. We've only got this small area by the cape here. Go ahead and try. That should be nice. Okay, so all of these ships are coming from Tonga, aren't they? 
They are. They're all coming from Tonga. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and have this fleet protect trade in this trade node here, Kuyaba. And then, as it's doing that, let's just go ahead and upgrade our caravels a bit. So let's build 12 caravels. We want this fleet to go up to about 50, ultimately. And it'll be making us money rather than costing us money like our military is. Okay. Sounds good. A lot of those I think are still being built at Tonga, but they're not all being built at Tonga. So that's fine. The other thing, of course, is we're going to need to be able to move this. So we're going to need to embiggen our uh, transport fleet. And we're going to be going over our naval limit for that. But that's okay. We are, of course, a naval power, so we need strong navies. Hmm, a trade failure, huh? We'll avert it. 50 dip power isn't worth much to us right now. In terms of tech. Hey, can we... Because we can protect trade in the Kuyaba trade node, right? Can we send a merchant over here? We actually can. Um, I think we would need to collect from trade. Because we have no way of sending the trade back this way. So I think we need to just collect over here. Oh, our explorer died. While we were trying to circumnavigate. That's awkward. Where are you guys? Are you coming home? Yes, you are. Okay, come on home. And we'll just get you a new explorer. And we'll try that again. Although, I'm going to let them repair up first. And here comes global trade. That's going to be fun. <laughs> more institution penalties. Okay, we'll give it one more month, I think, before we send them out. I really want this colony to finish. Like, to the point where, here's the thing. I'm going to recall the colonist from here, and I'm going to immediately send the colonist here. Now that's 1k, that's 500 there, so we should be fine. And then we're at 993. So I think we can just send our uh, our guys over here now. Yep, it's self-sustaining. Fantastic. We can make a state. Let's do that. Make that a core. Fantastic. Okay, we should be ready to circumnavigate the globe, and indeed we are. So let's go. And our colonist will be arriving up here in 80 more days. So we get almost all of Australia. We missed three provinces from Portugal. Where is this? Ah, over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and go inland a bit. Yeah, 500 natives. Should be fine. Go ahead and core that. Fantastic. So what are we making here now? We are currently crafting more infantry. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. We are righteous, so we can just uh, not lose anything here. Which is, of course, exactly what we're going to do. Okay, and our colonist will be there momentarily. So let's go ahead and dock our transports over here. Spain is over in this area now. But we're just going to try to grab everything we possibly can. Our drill over here is increasing slowly, but, I mean, we're already at 20 drill. That's not too bad. How is our army professionalism doing, though? I mean, it's coming up. It's not the worst. 
And it's going to come up pretty quickly, because this will be our only real army. Hey, more taxes. I'm okay with this. Okay, we've got more ships coming in over here. We've currently got 12. I think that's fine. For now. Let's work on saving up a little bit. Actually, you know what we should do? We should repay one of our loans. Cut our interest payments a little bit. And our, our inflation is a little on the high end. I would love to get an inflation reduction advisor, but they're so expensive and we don't have one available. Yeah, we're getting high attrition up over here from circumnavigating. That's not hugely surprising, I guess, because we had to explore our way through here. But I think we'll be okay here pretty soon, right? We have to come over here. We might have to do one more round of exploration. We'll see. There's global trade. Age of Reformation is ending soon. It's okay. Okay, what is our highest colony? That one and that one. And yeah, our ships getting lost is not a big surprise. We've only got the one left, but I think we might make it. It's going to be close. Nope. Rip. Okay. Well, in that case, we can just send this fleet to go do it. Like, we can... We lost the explorer, I guess? We can just send this fleet... Like, come on in here, fleet. I want you to heal up. There we go. And now I want you to circumnavigate the globe. We have every tile explored now, so it's just a matter of sending them. Go on. We were so close before, and now that this is explored, we should be fine to circumnavigate. Of course, we do still have more ships coming in. Our armies are fully built at this point and are just drilling. Currently at a total for the army of 19.7 army drill. Not too shabby. The first circumnavigation from Great Britain. We would have had the first one. Wow. <laughs> okay. We almost had it. Oh well. We will get our own circumnavigation very soon. I really want to build province improvements, but I really can't. Like, at this point, we absolutely need to be working on our institutions. And I think I'm going to go ahead and reduce inflation twice. Admin power isn't that valuable for us right now, right? So I think we can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do it again because it reduces by two. So that would waste some admin power. But hey, there's a colony self-sustaining. Two colonies self-sustaining. Um, 6k and 6k. Okay. I'm just trying to decide whether we do two here. I think we safely can. So like we send a colonist here. And we send a colonist here, and then we transport these guys here, send these guys in here. This is 6k and 6k. So we'll have 7k up here, and we'll just have to keep an eye on it and move if, if they rebel in the other one that we aren't currently in. Okay. And now we'll move in the reinforcements. Once they get there, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Denmark is in a golden era. Good job, Denmark. I'm proud of you. 
up to 24.7 drill. Nice. We're doing well on that. Of course, only having three transport ships is uh, slightly problematic. We can go ahead and mothball these for now. And I just wanted to check. We do have a fleet over here patrolling. Perfect. They should theoretically group up eventually, I think, because they're doing the same mission. I would hope so, anyway. We can exploit the natives here. Ooh, global settler increase and settler chance for ducats. Or they would lose size, and we'd lose settler chance and ducats. Or lose settler chance and global settler increase. We need to assuage their pain. Okay. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue trying to dissuade Portugal and Spain from attacking us. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.